The war caused the largest refugee and humanitarian crisis within Europe since the Yugoslav Wars in the 1990s. The UN described it as the fastest growing such crisis since World War II. As Russia built up military forces along the Ukrainian border, many neighboring governments and aid organizations prepared for a mass displacement event in the weeks before the invasion. In December 2021, the Ukrainian defense minister estimated that an invasion could force 3 to 5 million people to flee their homes. In the first week of the invasion, the UN reported over a million refugees had fled Ukraine. This subsequently rose to over 7.5 million by 15th of June. Most refugees were women, children, the elderly, or people with disabilities. As of 3rd of May, another 8 million people were displaced inside Ukraine. By 20th of March, a total of 10 million Ukrainians had fled their homes, making it the fastest growing refugee crisis in the contemporary era. Most male Ukrainian nationals aged 18 to 60 were denied exit from Ukraine as part of mandatory conscription, unless they were responsible for the financial support of three or more children, single fathers, or were the parents guardian of children with disabilities. Many Ukrainian men, including teenagers, in any case opted to remain in Ukraine to join the resistance. According to the UN High Commission for Refugees, as of 13th of May, there were 3,315,711 refugees in Poland, 901,696 in Romania, 594,664 in Hungary, 461,742 in Moldova, 415,402 in Slovakia, and 27,308 in Belarus, while Russia reported it had received over 800,104 refugees. As of 23rd of March, over 300,000 refugees had arrived in the Czech Republic. Turkey has been another significant destination, registering more than 58,000 Ukrainian refugees as of 22nd of March, and more than 58,000 as of 25th of April. The EU invoked the Temporary Protection Directive for the first time in its history granting Ukrainian refugees the right to live and work in the EU for up to three years. Ukraine has accused Russia of forcibly moving civilians to filtration centers in Russian-held territory and thence to Russia, which Ukrainian sources compared to Soviet-era population transfers and Russian actions in the Chechen War of Independence. As of 8 April, Russia claimed to have evacuated about 121,000 Mariupol residents to Russia. RIA Novosti and Ukrainian officials said that thousands were dispatched to various centers in cities in Russia and Russian-occupied Ukraine, from which people were sent to economically depressed regions of Russia. Ukraine's National Security and Defense Council Secretary Alexei Danilov said Russia also plans to build concentration camps for Ukrainians in western Siberia, where prisoners will be forced to help build new cities. On 20th of May, NPR reported that, Following a significant influx of foreign military equipment into Ukraine, a significant number of refugees are seeking to return to regions of Ukraine which are relatively isolated from the invasion front in Southeast.